Hey guys, today we cover the final DLC completion reward and it's amazing. Again guys, it's early days now, so if you don't want to be spoiled, leave now. Although I'll try and keep this spoiler through as much as I can. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and today I'll bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. So the weapon we are taking a look at today is called the Dueling Love Driller, which is a Jacob's pistol new to the Love Guns and Tentacles DLC. To have and to hold is the red text here and this weapon is rewarded for completing the DLC campaign and defeating that final boss. I won't mention any names and I won't show any boss footage. But guys the weapon is absolutely incredible. For one it looks incredible we cannot deny that and stats wise although it isn't the most powerful pistol in the game, stats wise it isn't bad. With that plus 230% critical hit damage also, this weapon does pack an almighty punch. Now before we go any further guys, if you are still in the process of completing this DLC story and ain't a level 57 yet, I truly recommend you get in there before completing the DLC, so weapons such as this and rewards you do get dropped along the way drop at a level 57 for you. So this weapon, what's special about it? Well we can all see it has a diamond floating right above that iron sight, representing the marriage of Wainwright and Hammerlock, which I won't lie can be a little annoying at first when trying to aim down sights and fire, but you soon get used to this and the fact the diamond doesn't represent where your shots will go. So besides the look of this thing and that diamond, what else does it offer? I mean it isn't a legendary and epics don't really in reality have any hidden benefits. Well this one does and it's incredible. So what this thing does is on those crit hits it returns a shot back into the clip and it also doesn't consume that crit shot either. So if you are left with one shot in that clip or magazine, if you hit those crit shots you can refill the magazine. Now as you can see this thing deals some great damage, around that 25k damage mark per crit hit to the test dummy. And this is with no additional pistol damage bonuses via anything I am using. This could be a whole heap more powerful. So what we actually have here guys is a pistol version of the wedding invitation, which makes sense as it's basically a reward for you making it possible for said wedding to go forward. And this is basically a pistol version of the wedding invitation, just without that incendiary damage. It's truly that great of a weapon. One I feel which will become very popular indeed, but not as your everyday pistol like the Maggie or the Craps, but more of a certain kind of build weapon. That's where I see this being used most. So yeah guys, my thoughts on this is that it's a super unique pistol, one which could probably get away with being a legendary, and one I truly recommend you upon receiving this at least giving it a try. Oh and also make sure you are a level 57 before you do that, you don't want an underpowered pistol for the sake of a few more extra XP's. But yeah guys, that's my thoughts on the dueling love drill, this new Jacob's pistol. New to the Guns, Love and Tentacles DLC. On that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.